Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, what can we say about yesterday? Uh, political chaos. I think that's pretty much what summed it up. So, actually, listen to some of the um, some of the the, the video record, not video recordings, the um, voice recordings. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I used to coach uh, a uh, a grade one, two, and three soccer team, and uh, that's what that reminded me of. But anyway, my opinion. Uh, at the moment, we do have a pretty strong engulfing red bar, which uh, you know, would normally be seen as uh, fairly bearish because it's taken out quite a few bars to the left. In fact, if, I mean, you can count those as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, didn't really take out that one, but uh, 13 bars to the left that it took out in one bar. So that's fairly bearish. Uh, but then we followed up with a pin bar. So big down, big up, big confusion, which is pretty much the state of uh, of the market at the moment, and uh, it's going to continue like that until uh, we get Biden sworn in and the inauguration behind us, and uh, Trump is removed from the White House. But I think he's not going to be removed easily, and it's going to be kicking and screaming all the way. But anyway. What we need to do is we need to focus on the charts and look for the opportunities that are going to get us the opportunity to make money. And just looking at this lot, at this uh, chart now in the three hour, we are sideways. There, there's no two ways about it. It's pretty big sideways price action. And let's do that. So you know we've got above the range and we've got back down at the range. Uh, Sort of this 30,000 30, area was defended, and uh, we did get a close above, did we not? Let's just put that level in, double check that. Because I think 30,000 is the area that we need to pay attention to. As you can see, the buyers came in off that. Uh, let's just see if I got a daily close above. Yep, we got a daily close above it. So that's the first thing uh, which is positive. And if you look at the hour, We've got a nice pin bar on a level, which is a great entry for a long. Um, I had to take a little scalp here, uh, basically just to the first level of uh, resistance, which is up here. Okay, so what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for some structure. So this has been a strong move to downside, and this has been a pretty weak uh, sort of uh, retracement. So in my view at the moment, there should be a second move down. That second move down could typically be just to defend, or well, to test the 30,000 again and form a double bottom. Uh, and I'd take that, to be honest with you. I'd, I'd look for an opportunity to buy that. Um, or alternatively, it's looking to move a bit further down and more than likely the length of this here. And that takes us probably test this low here if I'm correct. Let's see what that measured move says. Pretty close. So 29,400 basically, or 29,430, 29,450, somewhere around there. So that would be a second move down. So yeah, that would typically be something I'd pay attention to, and I'd definitely be wanting to buy off that level anyway. So this is a, a buy the dips market as far as I'm concerned. The thing that that I am watching at the moment is we had this range, okay, and then we broke above the range, we've tested the range twice and started rallying away, and then we came back into it. So it's a range break and it's also a triangle break. I'm still playing that to the upside. I think longer term that is the way things are going. This trend is still moving up, okay. Yes, it's sideways. And we're above and below the moving average, and it's really um, sort of big up, big down, big confusion type structure. But overall, the trend is still moving up. So this is the buy the dips market. You're looking for opportunities to buy. And uh, occasionally, you are going to get taken out with uh, big moves like this, okay? Only move I had yesterday on the Dow was a bit of a scalp here. But uh, I got taken out on the S&P, coming on a level. It went straight off the level. So you are going to get those. Just take those take those losses when they come at the moment for me 
this is what I'm looking at, structure. So I want a double bottom at the moment. We've got a pin bar and an engulfing bar. We've got another pin bar here. And you classify that as an engulfing bar plus another pin bar here. So we need a pullback now, which we're getting. And now what I'm looking for is a higher low to form. So it can pull back Fibonacci level. I mean, the best way to do this, you come down to the 15 and watch the structure. So now if I take the bigger levels, you can see there's a bit of structure here. If that holds, it expects it to move to the upside. That'll form a range. Then what I'm looking for is a break above there for my entry long, stop below the range. Okay, if this doesn't hold, then you're looking for the next level of structure, which quite honestly, I don't think it would be there. It'd be more than likely at 30,000. So it would come back into the zone. And if we get buyers coming in off there to drive it up, um, same picture. I'm looking for a break above this 32.87 and a retest for the long confirmation. Um, alternatively, I'm looking for it to get down here, buy off that, stop below the low of yesterday. Okay, so you can see how strong that was to the downside, and you can see how ragged it is to the upside at the moment. So we just need to wait for the European session to open, but I think more than likely we need to wait for the USA to start waking up and uh, see what um, what the Republicans are actually going to do. And it's going to be very interesting to watch uh, over the next couple of days. Anyway, guys, that's um, that's my view at the moment. Uh, a lot of political interference. Uh, if you if you're in doubt, don't bother. Stay away from it. Uh, you may have to take a bit of January off, but so what? You'll make it up the rest of the year. At this stage, I'm looking for a break right here. So 3287 is my break, and my stop is 3150, roughly. So that's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment, but um, probably not in the European session. I think we would rather focus on the US session for this. So I'm going to stay away from it until the US session, and then we'll see where we are. Okay, so guys, then that's it for me today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that little bell button as well. That will notify you when the videos come out. And uh, we'll have another set of videos bright and breezy tomorrow morning. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.